from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York. Just a second, Mrs. Earl. Hi. Oh, look at you. A sunflower, a daisy in a field. <laughs> An Easter bunny. Thank you. Uh, what can I do for you, Mrs. Oblensky? Oh, hummingbird, what can I do for you? That's the question. <laughs> Okay, uh, what can you do for me? I can renew your lease, which expired while I was walking up the stairs. <laughs> oh, great. And I can raise your rent. Raise my rent? Oh, a mere shade. <laughs> raise my rent? Oh, if only I didn't have to. If only Shell steak was still 38 cents a pound. If only one could have an extra cup of coffee without getting a loan from a bank. Raise my rent? <laughs> How about $50 more a month? Raise my rent. All right, all right. 40. Where do these innocents get their persuasiveness from? I came in here determined to get 50. She opens that rosebud mouth and argues with me, and I agree to 40. Raise my rent. <laughs> Good morning, Maria. Hi, Eddie. Good morning, April. Good morning, Eddie. You know, I dreamt of the gorgeous April Baxter again last night. So did I. We were running nude on a deserted beach. Your body kissed by the sun, mine warmed by the nearness of you. Eddie, please. I just had a Danish. April, why do you treat me like this? Is it the way I look, the way I talk, the way I dress? Yes. Good morning, Jules. Morning, yes. Good, no. What happened to you? That woman happened to me. Mrs. Oblensky. Ah. Guess what? What? She's raising my rent. Oh, no. Yeah. How much you hook you for? Forty dollars. Forty dollars? That's crazy for that dinky little apartment. Dinky? Meant adorable came out dinky. <laughs> Julia, forty dollars? I know, and I didn't even try to argue with her. Boy, what a dope. Yeah. Maria, what am I gonna do? Well, you're gonna move to a cheaper apartment. I can't. I love my place, and I spent a fortune fixing it up. Now, you didn't spend that much. Are you kidding? When I moved in, the whole thing was painted black. All you needed was a string of pearls. You could have taken that apartment anywhere. <laughs> so what you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to cut back and stop spending money on silly things like clothes and food. Listen, no, listen, you, you can split some of Mama's care packages with me. This week I got lasagna. Maria, I get my own care packages. Yeah, <laughs> but how long can you live on white bread and clam dip? <laughs> oh, Maria, I am so tired of being broke. I mean, $175 a week just isn't enough. 175? Mm -hmm. 
You make $175 a week. Sure, why? I don't make $175. You don't? Well. Oh, but honey, that's ridiculous. We're partners. You shouldn't make less than me. That's right, I don't. <laughs> you make more than me? Yeah. I make less than you. It's another way of putting it. <laughs> how much do you make? Oh, come on, Maria, how, how much do you make? <laughs> You make a hundred and ninety-eight dollars a week? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> not fair. Uh, I know it's not that, fair. That is, that is twenty-three dollars more a week. That's not fair. Uh, Jules, I swear I didn't know I made more money than oh, you did. Oh, I know that. <laughs> Well, how do they expect you to live on $175 a week? Look, the only thing for you to do is to go in there and ask Tony for a raise. Ask for a raise? Yeah. What should I say? Well, say anything. Tell you have to spend a fortune every week at the beauty parlor. I don't go to the beauty parlor. Tell her you lie your brains out. Tell her uh, uh, you have to send money home to help out your poor old gray-haired parents. Maria, my parents are in their 40s, and when they're not skiing or playing tennis, they're taking karate lessons. <laughs> Cancel the parents. Uh, tell her you need money to go to a plastic surgeon because you're so flat-chested. Maria! <laughs> oh, look, Julia, the only other way to get a raise is to be tough. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, go in there and say, uh, yo, Tony, uh, do you give me more money or I'm gonna kick you in the slats? Hey! I guess I'll try flat-chested. Well, whatever you do, do it now, no, even no, if you no. have the bag. Yes, no, now. Hey, uh, Julia, you, you need more money now? Go ask for a raise now. Now. Okay. Mr. McMillan, I don't believe this. When I hired you to decorate my apartment, I distinctly told you I wanted that chair covered in flesh-colored velvet. What arrived this morning was peach, not flesh. I happen to know the difference, Mr. McMillan. I am flesh-colored myself. <laughs> now, that chair and I clash. I want to remove this afternoon, and I do not want to return until it matches me. <laughs> oh, I should never have gotten out of bed this morning. <laughs> Now, what is it, Julia? What's what? <laughs> what did you want to speak to me about? Speak. Well, maybe now isn't a good time. Oh, no, no, nonsense. No, no, you seem to be busy and... Speak. Uh, you're not busy? Julia, speak. <laughs> well, Tony, I was talking to the... Oh, just a moment, dear. That's Mr. Bedford. Yes, J.M.? Tony! I can hear you, J.M. Tony, can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, J.M. Am I coming through loud and clear? As always, J.M. Hate this machine. You sure you can hear me? <laughs> Perfectly, J.M. What is it? The new campaigns. I don't like them. I don't like Brentway Silver Mitchell shoes. Can you hear me? Well, I get your drift, J.M. All right, I'm pressing the button now so you won't hear me. Uh, which button again? The second row, third from the right. Is that it? Can you hear me? <laughs> I still hear you, J.M. Second row, third from the right. Hate this machine. You can't even find the... <laughs> Julia, didn't you do that Brentway silver copy? Oh, yes, I did. Ah, well, it, uh, it seems that Mr. Bedford is having a, a tiny problem with it. I couldn't help overhearing. Uh -huh. Now, what is it you wanted to speak to me about? <laughs> oh, Tony... This is not the right time. I mean, if there was ever not a right time, this... Julia, you disturbed me. Now, you know how much disturbing me disturbs me. <laughs> Out with it. Tony, my landlady came to see me today, and, you know, I really do have to spend some time at the beauty parlor, and I'm not really... And Maria and I are partners, Tony, and I would never kick you in the slats. <laughs> you want a raise? How did you get that from what I just said? Years of practice listening to people beg. <laughs> now, before we waste any more of my time, I'll give you an answer. 
No. 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 Yes. Was that a yes to my no or a no to my yes? And that was a no to your raise. Mm. Now, why don't you hippity hop back to your office and think up something stunning for Breadways? Yes, Tony. Tony? Yes? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> What'd she say? She said no. She said no? She can't say no. She figured out a way. Well, what did you say? Thank you. Oh, Julia. I know. I did it again. You know, this is an insult. I know, Maria. I mean, nobody does this to a friend of mine and gets away with it. Who does she think she is? She's our boss. That's who she is. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? Well, Julia. There comes a time in every person's life when she has got to stand up for herself. I guess so. And this is your time. And I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> what? Well, whether you like it or not, I am going in there and I am getting you a raise. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Tony? I have got to talk to you. I'm busy. Tony, do you remember last December when I had the flu and Julia fed me chicken soup and cleaned up my apartment? And it isn't fair to penalize somebody just because they have good manners and once owned a pony. <laughs> She's not getting a raise. Oh, come on, Tony. I mean, I make more than she does. It isn't fair. It is fair. Because number one, you started working here six months earlier than she did. And number two, Mommy doesn't want to discuss it, right, Flotsam? <laughs> well, Tony, let me tell you something. If Julia does not get that raise right now, she quits. <laughs> How'd we do? You should have been there. You were terrific. I was? Yeah, I mean, you were strong. You were powerful. You threatened her. You did everything a person in your position could possibly do. I did? Yeah, you were great. I was great. Yeah. And I got the $23 a week. Better. You quit. <laughs> lunch any minute and then I'll straighten the whole thing out. You'll straighten the whole thing out. <laughs> Julia, I bet you didn't even believe me. I mean, nobody ever believes me. Even in confession, the priests don't believe me. <laughs> Julia, please, say something. You can eat the rest of your pickle. My pickle? No. It's yours. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. You shouldn't chew like that. It's bad for you. This is the way I eat, Maria. Take it or leave it. <laughs> look, look, Julia, just get it out of you. Look, look, yell at me. We don't yell in my family. We purse our lips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wally. Going to Miss Parker's school for girls really finished me. I can't yell. I can't fight back. I am just a well-bred doormat. <laughs> what was that? I screamed. <laughs> now, Julia, sometimes I worry for you. Hi there, little lady. <laughs> Hi, Molly. <laughs> like to be the first to shake the hand a client just ate out of, huh? <laughs> Did you watch it? Oh, that's a good joke. Now I've got one. Do you want to hear it? Not right now, Craig. It's not... It's a beauty. Later, Craig, okay? 
Oh, what's the matter, little Julie? In a bad mood? I can remedy that. The sky was on his honeymoon, see? And on the wedding night, he comes to bed naked as a jaybird. <laughs> Except he's wearing a fireman's hat and galoshes. <laughs> so the little bride says, why, honey, what are you wearing a hat for and galoshes? Greg. And so he says, because my mama told me that as soon as I got you it. You dare say another word. <laughs> But, but, but the, the humor's in the punchline. I am so sick of your dumb, smutty jokes. I don't want to hear one ever again. Jeepers, Julie. I was just trying to cheer you up. Golly. Oh, wait a second, Craig. I know you didn't mean anything. It's just that I'm in a rotten mood and I'm taking it out on you. I'm sorry, okay? Well, in that case, he says no. because my... <laughs> no? Boy, it's sure not like the good old days at the frat house. <laughs> hey, Tony, you want to hear a joke? No. Tony, <laughs> may I speak to you for a moment? About what? Uh, um, I'd like to unquit my quitting. Which was not really quitting, because Maria did the quitting, and that's not real quitting. Quit? Oh, darling, don't be silly. I didn't take that seriously. My little Julia would never give me a moment's trouble. Hey, Mel, isn't that great? You see, we were worried for absolutely nothing. Yeah, great. You're not smiling. Sure I am. Oh, you see the space between my lips? <laughs> this is the perfect capper to a perfect day. First, they raise my rent. Then I find out that my partner makes $23 more a week than I do. Then I ask for a raise and get turned down. Then I quit and nobody pays attention to me. I mean, I could roller skate across Fifth Avenue stark naked and I'd get a ticket for jaywalking. That $23 is really starting to gnaw at you, Julia. You're starting to resent me, aren't you? Don't be silly, Bellino. Yeah, day in, day out, you're going to be wondering, now, what is she doing with that $23? Is she taking a cab while I'm riding in a bus? Did she buy wine with a cork instead of a twist top? You're going to come to hate me, Julia. Julia, please. Bellino, stop! Now, once and for all, it is not the $23. It's not the rent. It's not the raise. It is me, Peters. Julia, push over, Peters. Julia, spineless, Peters. Julia, don't, Peters. Oh, come on. And don't, oh, come on me. Now, you said yourself that there comes a time when every person has got to stand up for her rights. Yeah. So, tonight I'm going to go home and I'm going to tell Mrs. O that I will not, that either she that there is no way I would, and that'll be that, and there's your pickle back. <laughs> Maria, I don't know if we should eat now. Why not? Well, there's this rule that you're not supposed to fight until an hour after eating. <laughs> That's swimming, dummy. <laughs> Lasagna a la Mama Bonino. And Mother Peter's mayonnaise delight. <laughs> hey, what is that? It's one of my mother's specialties. Looks like something you'd wear to a prom. <laughs> uh, why don't we start on the lasagna? Okay. Who is it? <laughs> Just a second, Mrs. O. Um, okay. Listen, Julia, uh, uh, I cannot wait till you get your hands on her. Okay. Right. But listen, don't lose your cool like I do. Right, right, right. I want to do this myself. Right. I mean it. Right. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. O. Hello, Cupcake. I got your note. You wanted to see me. Could we talk later? We're right in the middle of eating. Oh, oh we really haven't been started yet. Yeah, but I don't want this to get cold. Julia, it tastes a whole lot better cold. <laughs> okay. But first, I better wash my hands. <laughs> Tell her. Tell me what? Tell her what? Uh... It is about my new lease. Oh, yes. Speaking yes. of which, since I'm only raising you $40 a month and not 50 I am asking. No more violin playing after 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and, Hummingbird, it is very sweet the way you say no after a date. But could you say it on the stoop and not in the hall outside my room? <laughs> it's not so easy for a widow to hear another woman say no. <laughs> and a snowflake. 
Could you manage to take your baths a little earlier? The plumbing bangs right in the middle of Walter Cronkite. Gee, I got it. Excuse me a minute. Mrs. Oblensky, my friend will take a bath any time she wants to, dirty or not. And let me tell you one other thing. If you do not lower Julia's rent, she is going to move. Your friend has a problem. No, Mrs. Oblensky, she doesn't. I do. What, pray tell, is that? This morning, when you told me about the rent increase, I didn't say anything. I am now prepared to say anything. So say, my pumpernickel. <laughs> not one word. Mrs. Oblensky, I think that it was very unfair of you not to give me more notice that my lease was expiring and that you intended to raise my rent because I had no time to consider whether or not to look for another apartment. I think that $40 more a month is outrageous. Well, and oh, I don't think that the apartment is worth it. I think that you're trying to take advantage of me because I'm a pushover, which I am not anymore, and I don't <laughs> intend to allow it. So, I decided not to sign the new lease, and I will move out just as soon as I can make some arrangements. And the night you shut up! <laughs> Tell me, death or dear, <laughs> could you manage twenty-seven fifty? Twenty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven. Just barely. No, I came in here agreed on forty. She opens that bee pod mouth, and the next thing I know, I have agreed to twenty-five. Twenty-five. <gasps> twenty-five. Oh, oh Miss Caraway, see, don't start with me. <laughs> twenty-five, it is. And 25 it stays, 24. Oh, thank you, Mrs. O. Oh, Julia Peters, you are magnificent. Yeah? What kind of vitamins your mother put in that stuff? Hey, try it, you like it. A ju no, I, I said know. try it. Hey. <laughs> something. We used to have this in my house, but we never called it Mayonnaise Delight. What you call it? Garbage. But we're, um, still friends, right? Right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> 